What's up guys, it's Kira here and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another monthly favorites video and I have a mix of beauty, fashion, music, Netflix, and just loads of different things that I have been loving this month. I'm gonna get straight into it and the first thing I'm gonna talk about is skincare. Also, let's just ignore the fact that I tried to do something different with my hair and it looks like a hot mess. Okay, so kicking things off with skincare, I'm gonna talk about three different products that I am loving this past month. So the first two products I'm gonna talk about are the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix cleansing pads. I have the Nighttime Extreme Fix which is 5% glycolic acid and also the Daily Fix cleansing pads which is 2% glycolic acid. Now I have talked about these at length in my latest video which is all about my new skincare routine and some new skincare purchases that I'm loving but if you don't want to watch that video I will give you a quick rundown. These are basically a glycolic cleanser. One's in a higher dosage, one's in a lower dosage and what they do is they exfoliate your face chemically. They're completely safe to use, they do not irritate my skin. I've definitely noticed a difference from using these products. They have left my skin with a smoother texture. I feel like they're exfoliating it better. I picked them up in Boots. They were doing like a half price offer. So I just went mad and bought like four different glycolic cleansers. I would totally recommend these. Um, I will leave a link to them below. And again, if you want more info on glycolic cleansers and all that kind of stuff, do watch my latest skincare video because it talks about it more. So the only other skincare product I'm going to mention is the Mario Badescu drying lotion. This again was mentioned in my other skincare video, but I have had to feature it in my favorites because it is an absolute favorite of this past month. This is a drying lotion that you basically dab onto any blemishes that you have and oh my god, it is amazing, it absolutely works. So while it won't magically disappear the spot by morning, you will notice that it has completely dried out and then obviously it's not really a problem anymore, then you just have to wait for the skin to heal. So I have been absolutely loving this and it is my new secret spot treatment weapon. The next beauty favorite I have for you guys is a lip product and it is the YSL Vinyl Lip Cream. So this is part of one of YSL's new lip releases and it is basically a lip lacquer, a high shine gloss and a long wear lipstick all wrapped up into one. I'm actually wearing it on my lips today and I'm wearing it over my Rimmel lip liner in Tiramisu which is like my everyday lip liner. So this is actually one of their new shades and I picked up this product when I was over in Paris with YSL last week for Fashion Week. I was brought over on a little mini press trip for their YSL Beauty Club event which was basically just a big Paris Fashion Week party and it was so so much fun. If you haven't watched that video I will link it below. It was such a fun trip but during the party they had like a lipstick ATM which was so cool and of course I went and used it and this is what came out. So this is in the shade 12 which is called Rose Mix. It's so easy to apply and what I love about it is that it dries in and it doesn't budge but it still leaves a slight sheen on the lips. I know the matte lipstick is still absolutely huge at the moment but coming into spring summer I kind of want to take a break from those heavy drying matte formulas and I want to try using more formulas that are still long lasting but that are in a much lighter finish. So lip products that I feel do that quite well are the Giorgio Armani lip magnet range. I absolutely love that range. Their red is like my favorite, favorite red. I'll link it below. And also this vinyl cream range. I feel like they're a light formula. They give a really nice color payoff, but they don't dry and flake off your lips. And they have a really kind of nice light sheen to it. So it's not that super high sticky gloss look, but just like a nice little sheen, which is nice to have in spring summer. My last beauty favorite of the month is a fragrance and it is the YSL Black Opium Floral Shock Fragrance. That is such a mouthful. I feel like perfume names are getting longer and longer. Is that just me? So this is another product that I picked up on my trip to Paris with YSL. And now the fragrance for me will always be associated with Paris and that trip, which is so, so cool. Every time I smell it, I'm kind of taken back to that moment. It is an absolutely beautiful fragrance. It's kind of like a nighttime scent, like the rest of their black opium, but it still has base notes of coffee and espresso and lots and lots of flowers in it. So it is something that you could wear during the day. Again, I'm so bad at describing scents. I feel like every single favorites video I say this but it has like a sweet freshness but with a hit of something a little bit stronger which I'm assuming is probably the coffee uh, but it smells amazing I really really like it and I will always always associate the smell with that trip that I took so it's definitely a favorite of this month for sure those are all my beauty favorites of the month and now it is time to move on to fashion and I have a pair of trainers so these guys are the Nike Air Harash Ultra and I picked these up in JD Sports about two to three weeks ago and I'm obsessed. There's nothing like the feeling of getting a new pair of trainers. Not only are they so 
comfortable but there's something about the freshness of them when they're just out of the box that's like oh it's just the nicest feeling ever JD Sports are the retailer that I also picked up my vans from and those are probably going to be my absolute favorite shoes of the summer these I think will come in at a close second they're a lot more sporty than the vans and they're great for days where you actually are so so busy I absolutely love styling trainers into different outfits I think they look so so cool I would probably wear these with a pair of like black skinny jeans a biker jacket a white t-shirt and either a backpack or like a crossbody bag and it would just be perfect for running around doing errands but also looking pretty slick at the same time just to be aware this style of shoe does tend to run small I think it's because of like the elastic band that they have here at the back so it's no harm to go up half a size or even a full size if you're unsure I went up half a size and it worked so so well next up in my fashion favorites of the month I have this gray hoodie from River Island I picked this up about three weeks ago and you would have seen it in my spring summer haul that I posted about two weeks ago I think and yeah I've been living in this hoodie you've probably seen it on my insta stories if you follow me there I'll leave a link to it below you'll also have seen it in my come to the salon with me vlog and my Paris trip vlog I have been living in this jumper it's been in the wash now about three times already and I wore it last night when I was cooking dinner and I have like pasta sauce on it I don't know if you can see that there yeah it's getting worn a lot I picked up this grey color specifically to wear with my tan Marks and Spencer coat with the hood poking out that's actually the travel outfit that I wore in my Paris travel vlog as well and I just love the way they look together their press team also sent me over a 20% discount code in case I wanted to share it with you guys I will leave that in the description below it's not sponsored but I will leave it in the description below just in case you'd like to use it I really really recommend this you certainly will get your wear out of it like I did and I'm pretty sure it is still in stock on the website another fashion favorite of the month is this gorgeous denim jacket from she inside you've probably also seen this on my Instagram already I've worn it a lot it's also in my spring summer haul you can see all the other bits that I picked up for spring summer there so this one is by Shein and I think it was something crazy like 15 euro so 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 affordable what I really love about this is that it has the distressed elbow it's completely open except for like the seam part there it has some more little distressed bits at the back and at the side and it just looks so cool this for me is the perfect oversized denim jacket fit it's not too big it's not too small it's just distressed enough and it's also my perfect denim color fingers crossed it's back in stock and if it's not don't worry I will link some of their alternatives because they have loads of denim jackets on their website at the moment so those are all my physical monthly favorites but I actually have a bunch of other recommendations for you guys as well I'm getting very organized you guys I'm keeping all of these in a list on my phone so I never forget them and I kind of add to them as the month goes on so for my book that I've been loving this month, um, like I said before, I listen to all of my books via audiobook. I use an app called Audible. It's brilliant. It's so, so handy. And this month, I absolutely loved Pretty Honest by Sally Hughes. Now, I did also mention this book in my previous skincare haul video, but I did want to mention it here as well because it was the book that I read last month and I was so, so impressed with it. It's a book all about beauty and Sally Hughes is a beauty journalist. She's UK based, but she writes for so many different magazines and she's hailed as one of the top top experts in beauty and her book Pretty Honest is basically this huge compendium of all of her beauty knowledge. When I downloaded this book I really really wanted to learn a bit more about skincare and anti-aging and the exact products that would work for me and I feel like it gave me so much valuable knowledge and it kind of allows you to like cut through all of the advertising jargon that obviously brands are often giving to you so if you are interested in beauty or you want to know a little bit more about it I definitely recommend this book. My movie TV recommendation of the month has to be the TV show Silicon Valley. It's a comedy that's based in Silicon Valley in San Francisco and it centers around the lives of five startup tech entrepreneurs uh, that are trying to like make their business work and they are shocking nerds and it's so so funny. Uh, the writing is incredible, the cast is amazing and it's just hilarious especially when you start to get to know the characters. It's just so 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 good for a laugh. I have watched two seasons already and the third season is out in April which I'm so so excited about and if you're looking for a comedy that is so funny and like kind of slapstick but also really really intelligent this is so good. And finally my music favorite of the month has to be Post Malone's album Stony. I don't know how it took me so long to actually listen to the album. I'd heard some of his songs before and they're so so good but the whole album itself is brilliant. I actually have it downloaded on Spotify so I can listen to it even when I'm offline and my favorite song by far is congratulations. I'm gonna play a little bit of it now. Ever since I was 
They said I would be nothing Now they always say congratulations Perfect like weekend listening when you're like chilling, having a few drinks, maybe getting ready to go out. So good. Listen to this. So there you have it guys. Those were my favorites of the month. I hope you enjoyed them and do let me know in the comments below what your monthly favorites were, whether it's fashion, beauty, film, TV, music. I'm always looking for new recommendations. So let me know if you try anything out that I've mentioned and let me know what I need to try out because I need your help. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up because that would help me out a lot. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post two new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Oh my god, I actually feel lightheaded. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Okay, I need to stop now. Why is my nose so itchy? Ugh. Ugh. <coughs> I swear to god, trying to get the thumbnails for these. Poor thing.